Oh, hello everyone. Today is one windy day, so I will try to make this as easy as possible. I'm not gonna stay in this wind all the time, all day long. So the question come up as to how I have my solar array set up. So let's talk about it today. And in addition to that, we will talk about uh, LV6548 uh, MPPT charge controllers and how they are set up. So let's start with the strings. What you're looking here in front of me is a string one, string two, string three, and string four. So I have a total of 48 panels. Each string has 12 panels. Out of those 12 panels, six are connected in the series, and another six are connected in the series. And those two series are connected in parallel, making it 6X, 6S, 2P configuration. Okay, so with that being said, the first array consists of 12 panels, and they are totaling 3840 watt theoretical output, th meaning 320 watt per each panel. Second array consists of also 12 panels, six series, six series, and then in parallel. S uh, string two and string three are, are consisting all of 300 watt panels, bringing, e bringing each string at 3600 watts. The last 12 panels are cons consisting of six panels of 300 watt each and six panels of 325 e 325 watt each and that last string consists uh, total output theoretical output power is 3750 watts now what happens after this let's go and take a look right now we are under the string one here you can see a y connector that Y connector connects those two series of six panels each, hooks them up into a single line, which goes to combiner box. That is the negative side, and here is a Y connector for the positive side. Here we are at the combiner box. All string, all four strings come into this combiner box and then they are combined here and then they go to the side of the house where the uh, uh, DC disconnects are. So I have used these weather heads and each weather head consists of two strings going through it. This is for a string one and two and this right here is for a string three and four. They go in, they're A gauge wire they go in, they get combined with the lines that go to the DC disconnects. Let's go take a look at the DC disconnects. But before we go to DC disconnects, this is, it goes under the, under the ground. And you can see a line going towards the house. Oh my God, that is so hard today. But today was an excellent day to show what the MPPT charge controllers can do. So as you can see that line through the grass, that's where the um, I dig a hole trench actually and brought in conduit. Conduit comes here and these are the uh, DC disconnects in case I have to disconnect it or in the case of an emergency. So this would be string one, string two, string three and string four. Simple. 250 volt DC general duty enclosed switches rated for the outside use here they are nothing special um, let's open up one and see how does it look inside here they are they have a DC fuses in there and then from there it goes inside the house each string goes into one inverter so each string comes out from here so as we said string one 
travels all the way down into the inverter one, then inverter two, inverter three, and inverter four. And this is how that looks like. This is a string one. This is a uh, this is the PV one connection. This is a PV two. So I don't know why they have it backwards, as I mentioned before. But this is PV one, PV one, and so on and so forth. So string one, 3,840 watts. String two, 3,600 watts. String three, 3,600 watts. String four. 3750 watts so let's go inside and then we are going to look at uh, our production numbers and how those MPPT controllers work what we're looking at right now is uh, data from a smart shunt um, it shows that battery is fully charged and it has been charged since about 1 30 to o'clock uh, I'm showing you this so later on when we look at the different graphs, it will put everything in uh, perspective. So the battery is 100% state of charge. And now let's look at the fun numbers that I kind of like to look. And I will give you a better perspective of how the MPPT charge controllers on LV6548s work. So let's go there. Here we are in a part of Grafana where I can display solar array and output, solar array voltage, and a solar array power production. So what are we looking at here? These are your solar array amps, solar array voltage, and solar array power. Now the MPPT charge controllers on LV6548s can take a maximum of 18 amps they do start working at 90 volts and the maximum input per PV input maximum voltage per PV input is 230 volts okay so let's look at how my solar array performs let's zoom in into the early morning hours of the um, of the day and that's right here where the solar array voltage is okay when we zoom in here we can see that solar array amps are at zero solar power is at zero of course because your solar amps are zero however my solar panels are woken up or the MPPT charge controllers get woken up around 632 now at April 21 the start first voltage gets to be recorded 61 volts and as the time progresses and the Sun starts showing up more we can see that solar array voltage starts to rise if you can see these numbers probably this is best watched on a PC or something with a larger screen you can see the voltage is going up till about seven o'clock at this time of the year where the voltage goes down to zero again why does that happen well I think that charge controllers on these LV 6548s they do try to produce some power okay however this doesn't happen until later in the morning until more sunshine hits them so once they receive more power that we can probably not that we cannot see here they start waking up again and they all level up at about 90 volts at 7:15 a.m. they're all at about 90 volts okay so let's go back to where they start producing the power in the last 12 hours. Uh, if we zoom in, if we zoom in to this part of graph, this is the early morning from 8 till 11.30, we can see that the first power production starts at about 7, 7.40, 7.45. 
and that slowly rises and it doesn't rise as quickly as everybody think it should that's because I have a shading on my panels I made a video on that about the shading and how does it affect my power production so they finally get start getting out of shade and this is where the power starts going up so in summary the first power the first big power gets starts starts being produced around 10 10 50 and this is all where those small bleeps are of 20 30 watts on the solar power screen here on the left side I'm trying I'm trying to find the best words for this but you can see as slowly as we coming to 11 o'clock the the power output grows and that's again because of the shading you can see it so around 1130 I come to about 3 kilowatts and the total amount of amps output is at 26 now the fun thing about Grafana and all this data collection that I do is I can look at each string I can look at the each string separately so here's a string one power output jumps up at 1115 then we come to string two power output really jumps around 1130 and then a string three is even slower than that when it comes to amps output past 1130 and then the string four it's even slower due to the shading so now let's talk about the one important part let's go to the last three hours worth of production actually let's put it here at six hours and then let's zoom into the power output and then we will show the voltages of what the solar array does at max output here are the voltages and amps at the max output today so the max output today was 12 and a half kilowatts solar power for a string one was max at 3.42 uh, 3 kilowatts string two was 2.97 2.93 for a string three and for a string four was 3.7 3.17 kilowatts here's an interesting number even though the MPP charge controls are able to accept 18 amps according to the MPP solar manual my clipping when it comes to amps my clipping occurs at about 17.3 to 17.4 amps per string so string one max is 17.4 and the same thing for string 4 17.4 string 2 and string 3 cannot produce 17.5 amps so they never get clipped but they get fairly close especially string 2 gets fairly close and gets about 17 amps <clears throat> that's all they can output so they don't get clipped so the funny thing I noticed about the LV 6548s 17.4 17.5 amp is a max per PV input on each charge controller and each LV6548 has two charge controllers and now let's zoom into the uh, voltages over here <clears throat> the voltage the, the, the string with the highest voltage is with those first 12 panels that I show in the first part of the video they normally at the full output and this is the full output when this was happening is about 196 volts and the lowest string was a string 3 at about I think string 3 always tends to be the lowest it's about 174 volts when they're, they're outputting their max and that max today was reached around 130 right right at the, at the max sun the battery got fully charged and of course it drops down right here after the amps drop down and, and, and the need for the power from a, a charge controllers drops down 
the voltage the voltages go up and the highest one was 232 volts 232.8 volts if we are to trust the numbers that that the LV6548 spit out and we can see those voltages stay high and then again when another load is introduced and let's look at that load This is the new load, which is around 8 kilowatts. Let's look at it like this. 7.78 kilowatt load. That is electric core being charged. Okay, so the voltages kind of stay high because that's 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 all the MPPT charge controllers need. So each string goes into one LV6548. This is what it needs per that leg of a split phase. So I have two, two inverters per leg. So this is all they need, and this is where they at, and this is how much they output. The power output is. And you can see here when the car is being charged, they roughly stay at about two kilowatts each for a total of about eight kilowatts so in summary LV6548 for me amp clipping occurs at 17.4 amps or 17.5 amps I saw it as high as 17.5 and I remember that number from before and the max voltage that I receive and under any kind of a load is about 230 volts. I'm thinking this actually might be clipping the voltages too at this point. I'm thinking you would achieve damage on these uh, uh, inverters or MPPT charge controllers if you let's say hook up a 400 volt you know series string and then try to run it. It'll probably burn the whole thing down but I'm thinking there's some some leeway built in and that's what it says max max uh, uh, open circuit voltage is 250 volts so I think I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in a safe area where I'm having a max power output and remember that my distance from the string one to the inverter to the inverter is the longest one I think it's about 300 feet long if I calculated everything right 200 feet from Combiner box to DC disconnects another I think it's another 70 feet down to the string one and then you got maybe 15 20 feet over here running around inside the house so close to 300 feet is my distance I think this is a fair representation of uh, MPPT charge controllers on LV6548 this is one long and boring video but it gives you a better idea of how that works so summary again 90 volts is when they start producing power and clipping occurs at 17 and a half amps and these are the power outputs that we get if you're interested more in the grafana and all this other setup i think i can talk about that too but it gets it gets to be technical and i think maybe a little bit too boring but i'll talk to you guys soon later